I'm going to talk to you today about putting your haiku and your stop and your sinquain in your poetry book. Now, for the haiku, this is my advice. Your haiku is on page eight and on page nine. So they're like back to back, they're right together. So for your haiku, it's only three lines. What I would do if I were you, see how I have my lines paper underneath it and when you press down, you can see it. I would put your title of your haiku about here, about an inch down from the top of the page. And then I would center your three lines in the middle of your page. So you'll have your five syllables, your seven syllables, and your five syllables. And then I would put your picture underneath here or around, it doesn't matter. Henry did a really cool one that had like drawings all around his haiku. Then this one on page nine, same thing. So you'll take your lined paper, you'll slip it underneath your workspace, title of your haiku, so maybe it's spring, maybe it's rain, I don't know. Then you have five, seven, five, and then your picture underneath, okay? Now the next poem that you're gonna do on this um, round is your sinquain. Your sinquain is on page 11, and what I wanna remind you about the sinquain is it's shaped like that, it's shaped like um, a diamond. So I really want you to make sure you're using the lines that you're getting the shape of the sinquain because that is the format of the poem. Now your sinquain would go on this side and then your picture gets to go on page 10. So for today's homework, haiku on page eight, haiku on page nine, turn the page, sinquain on page 11, and then the picture for the sinquain goes on page 10. Please send me an email if you're confused or if something doesn't make sense in this description. I know it was pretty quick, um, but I'm trying to make sure that we get through all of the lessons because I still need to talk to you about, um, about the author, a dedication page, your title page, and your title of your book. So we have a lot of things we need to still finish up. 